Darn is saying thanks to the guys that are stepping out of the way. Alright, so it actually looks like that uh, Carnage has pressed F3. He feels ready to go. And there it is. Alright, guys, we're going live. Carnage versus Rafa. Alright, we watched Rafa last time out of the gate. We're gonna watch. Uh, I read a comment earlier. I hope uh, Carnage. that Carnage is ready for Rafa to destroy his dreams. Ouch, harsh words. <laughs> Alright, Rafa gets the Mega. Carnage gets the Red. They're both sitting at pretty good stacks right now, about even. And Rafa making an interesting choice, uh, being kind of stuck in that uh, jump pad area. Yeah, Rafa's gonna be able to secure himself a rocket, which is gonna come in handy right here. No, Rafa gets up strong with uh, a shaft instead. Now we see the rockets come out, and we got Carnage down to 14 health, down to 6 health, and uh, he's backing off, running away, and there it is! Uh, we've got Rafa getting on the board with a little peak rail around the edge. We're gonna go take a look at Rafa is sitting. Wow, actually, very low. Uh, getting that mega uh, really helped him out. I have to question the weapon choice there of Carnage, who seemed to mainly favor the plasma gun in that duel. Not really connecting a whole lot with it, probably because it's a hard gun to connect with. So we're seeing uh, Rafa starting to set up uh, control of the map here. And uh, he, there it is, he's waiting for Mega. Uh, Carnage is nowhere to be seen. That is uh, huge there, um, although I think Carnage was close enough where he probably heard the pickup, so he'll be able to use the timing uh, of the sound to uh, you know, adjust and try to show up uh, for it next time. Carnage going up very strong here, Rafa, uh, waiting for a, a portal maneuver here from Carnage. I don't think it's going to happen. There he goes, he waits it out. Yeah, Carnage waits grenade. too weak to be any sorts of aggressive right now. Okay, yeah, I was about to hop over and take a look. That's definitely true. 50 and 50, not going to help you out. But against 100 and uh, basically 100, now at 200 and 100. Yeah, Carnage, though, right next to the red, though, he doesn't quite want to go for the jump. There he go, th goes and grabs it, setting him up at a decent, decent stack. Though Rafa has got a recent Mega, putting him at 160 HP, which definitely makes him a little bit better off. All right, so we were hoping to get uh, DKT in here, but uh, looks like he may not have enough uh, time. So uh, we might uh, try to bring him in, bring him in next time. So, uh, no biggie. Actually, he says no biggie. Get the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> but folks, this is King of the Hill tournament. No biggie is an understatement. It is a biggie. <laughs> this makes and breaks people. Yes. Don't live King of the Hill tournament. Born then, and then who are you really? By King of the Hill. <laughs> um, no, actually, guys, this is a weekly tournament. Uh, we just hold it for fun. It's basically for uh, bragging rights, and uh, we have a whole lot of fun with it. Uh, Rafa getting on the. Uh, uh, well, actually, I should say uh, one more frag. Uh, 2 0. Um, three, almost three and a half minutes have been burned through here. Uh, Carnage, I think making a mistake, not running for his life, uh, gives Rafa another frag, up to three. <laughs> Rafa, it, hardly giving him a frag, he's down to low, low health, he's down to his 20s in HP wise. Carnage was able to connect a little bit more, he could have got a kill there, but it was Rafa's just slightly better aim, I think, that caused him to win that duel. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I was going to say, Rafa's about to get the drop on Carnage. Carnage uh, getting a tough spawn here, about to get uh, LG'd to hell. Rafa extends the lead. Oh, another terrible spawn. And, uh, mm, yeah, that that's the one sort of broken thing about this map, is uh, that particular spawn point uh, from that platform. Uh, when, when your opponent is right. on that, uh, that platform. A little bit of Quake live news here. Um, Walter, after taking that sort of beating there from uh, Rafa, no longer wants to play Quake live. 
That's uh, that that's typical Walter, unfortunately. <laughs> Pay it no mind, ladies and gentlemen. Great shots here by Rafa, um, dealing tons of damage to Carnage as he goes up for that uh, red armor. And uh, Rafa just finishes him off with the rail, just waiting for him uh, to expose himself. Nine to zero. Uh, now, I will, uh, let, let's take the viewers back, because uh, a couple of weeks ago we had a King of the Hill, and we had uh, Broken Callot, um, a, a player from, from Europe, uh, just decimate players right and left all night long, right? And then, uh, yeah, we decided yeah, to throw, I throw, a little, <laughs> throw, throw a little monkey in the wrench, and we're like, okay, uh, new challenger will bring on Carnage. It, w this was a little arranged thing. I don't think we ever told uh, Calp about this, but we actually we arranged Carnage to show up, and because uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, after somebody's been beating the hell out of uh, people, people want to see you know change of the guard, um, and. Uh, <laughs> so we, we brought on Carnage, and Carnage decimated uh, Broken Callop. And, uh, you know, here we're seeing uh, Carnage uh, unable to frag Rafa at this point. Yeah, this is crazy, and yeah, Callop was no joke either. I mean, he, like, for example, Raul uh, came on to show his stuff, and seemed so able to really give a challenge to Callop. I mean, he was definitely a top skill Euro player, and even with 150 ping, I mean, he barely missed a rail. Callop was on fire when he played King of the Hill, and Carnage just completely put him in his place. Right, so that you know, that should kind of give you an idea of the, uh, I guess the, the spectrum of talent that exists in this game. I mean, uh, Callop is somebody that would. Oh, that that's gonna be painful. Uh, Carnage just just uh, ate a bit of pavement there and got a negative one. Told a negative one. Uh, yeah, at, at this point, I think Carnage is just kind of doing silly things. We got three minutes to go. Yeah, he's sitting there with his gauntlet out. That's all right. I understand. It's got to be a bit disheartening to be at a uh, 15 frag deficit and in the in the red. <laughs> yeah, wow, Carnage is just getting worked here right now. I mean, ouch. I mean, honestly, what they should do for fun is just uh, start going for a telefrag battle. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just a negative three. Well, he's just fucking around at this point. I mean, this match ended two minutes ago. Yeah. And there's Rafa's uh, signature wait with the plasma uh, duck move. <laughs> yes, uh, Dragox can feel better that he is in the same league as Carnage when it comes to playing Rafa. <laughs> Alright, uh, so who is our next challenger? Because so we're, we're winding down, we got uh, a minute... Uh, a minute uh, 40 to go. Uh, BLT will be our next challenger. Alrighty. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's let's talk about the weather or something because right now this is kind of silly to watch. Um, uh, shit, do we have any like scheduled stuff that we can plug? Yes. Um, no. uh, I guess yeah, just the I, I website. So. I mean, no. Yeah, I, I, I think that we're we're still sorting out the schedules. Um, I, I do know that we want to cover uh, at least one. We've discovered that we can only cover realistically only two of the matches at uh, for the Quake Night event on Tuesday, the Team Death match. We had a whole lot of fun doing that. So.